When we punish, when we police, that doesn't support the dignity of our communities. My name is Fatima Zaidi. I am the founder of Motivation Works, the co-founder of Zaidi Design Co. I am an artist, a designer, and a behavior analyst. With behavior analysis these days, um, what we do is we look at the environment, and typically those are learning environments, and we see what behaviors are appropriate for that environment and what behaviors are considered challenging. And with the challenging behaviors, we try to decrease that by increasing maybe an alternative that is also going to get you know, the individual, the things that they're looking for. I started my path on becoming a behavior analyst, and it was very unexpected how much I would love the philosophy of the field, that circumstantial view of behavior, that is deep, that is huge, that is profound. Understanding that it is circumstances that surround a human being, that's why they engage in that behavior. When I was at the Newland Center for Children, they have a multitude of different settings that they deal with. I worked in the um, staff intensive unit and that that's really where I saw some of the most challenging behavior I've ever seen in my life. Those behaviors were scary. There are times where like some of the students that I'm working with, it feels like a tsunami coming at me when they're ready, when they're targeting me and they want to aggress to me. And so art can be a big replacement behavior, an alternative behavior to engage in instead of maybe destroying the room. And that was something that I found very powerful with art is that you could create stimuli around you that motivates you, that expresses certain feelings that just you can't communicate with language. These days, the only art that I want to create should always have a spin of dignity in it. You also see dignity promotion when I discuss my various identities. Like I identify Indian, Pakistani, um, I identify as non-binary, gender non-conforming, um, I identify as pansexual. And from these identities, I try to express that. that. These are identities that exist and they are deserving of dignity. Another one of my identities is that I am neurodivergent. I um, have ADHD. I haven't gotten tested for autism, but I see some autistic tendencies in myself. Neurodivergent peers teach society a lot about how to interact with others and how to promote dignity.